So you'll notice that we are talking about Na, NO3, and remember with these graphs, there are a lot of lines on it, but you're only supposed to focus on the line that they're talking about. So they are talking about this line right here. Didn't color it very well. Ugh. This line, they're talking about this one, and they aren't talking about any of the other lines that are on this page at all. So when you're solving this, you just pretend that those other blue lines don't exist. I know that feels uncomfortable, but that's what you're doing. Let me try getting a slightly better picture. There we go. And then um, I'm going to use like a purple color to try to match up this and answer these two questions. So the first one is at what temperature will 100 grams of NaNO3 dissolve? So notice that our unit is in grams per 100 grams of water. And it wants to dissolve 100 grams of NaNO3. So this is the part that I'm looking up. And if I'm going up, so 100 grams would be right here. And then I just need to see where that hits that line. And then I'll go down from there. So over here, looks like it kind of hits it like that. And so I'll go down. So I might estimate um, that to be, you know, between 30 and 40, maybe, maybe 33 or 34. So there's a range of answers that are accepted um, in these practice problems. So if you thought it was 35, 35 would probably be in that range. But if you thought it was 39, that is pretty far from 39. So like 39 wouldn't have been accepted. And then the next one is how much NaNO3 will dissolve at 80 degrees? So... Um, so I'm just doing it oppositely. I'm taking my 80 and going up until I hit that line. And then I'm going to go across right there. And like right here, this would be 160. So it's between 140 and 160. And, you know, I kind of feel like right here would be 150. So maybe the answer would be like maybe 148 or something like that. And that answer is grams in 100 grams of water.